Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a race recap for you of the Ford Abbey 10K 2019. Okay guys, so it's the Ford Abbey 10K race today. Heading over with Richard Clayton. Beautiful, beautiful conditions today. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Little breeze, perfect. I think there's some road closures, so we're hitting it early. Let's get to it. So a huge attendance at the Ford Abbey 10K 2019 from my running club. It was really great to see so many people there, so many runners, different abilities. Everybody supporting each other, always a really nice feeling. This race is organised by the Chard Roadrunners and it's been uh, running for a number of years now. It was uh, really great to take part, although a very challenging race. So the course route, as you can probably see from the footage before, was a mixture of very hilly, rocky tracks, some really beautiful views, with some very muddy and slippery tree-covered sections. And it all concluded with two river crossings at the end. I treated this race very much as an endurance event. 
I arrived at the start line already pretty tired after quite a punishing and very stressful work week. So the initial part of the race, the first three miles, is pretty much all uphill. It sees the first of three hill climbs. Uh, the first one is over about 1.5 miles in length and about 200 foot of elevation. The second is much steeper and much shorter but probably about the same level of elevation. And that pretty much obliterated me and my Terra Kaiga 5s. I found it really tough going up that second hill. It really took everything out of me. And I have to admit, there's a couple of points where I really needed to just completely stop, just, just start walking. It was very, very tough. Really difficult weather conditions as well. It was very, very hot. Uh, there was some tree cover at certain sections, um, but that tree cover simply meant that the ground uh, around that area was still very wet from rain that had occurred in previous days. So after about the second mile, my feet were completely covered in mud by that point. Um, there were lots of areas there that were covered by those trees. So lots and lots of mud on the ground, very slippery. And a few times I literally just placed my foot into the ground and it just sunk straight in. So after the third mile, the course kind of plateaus in terms of elevation and you are then treated to a pretty much downhill descent right to the finish line. I think the decline's about 350 foot, so it literally just flies all the way down, and I managed to pick up a little bit of speed there and kind of improve my overall pace. So as you saw, there are some water crossings towards the end of the race, two of them in total, and that's certainly a first for me. There's some guide ropes to help you along, sort of guide you through where those water crossings are, because there were some I don't know, kind of underwater holes, I guess, some, some sort of ridges that you had to be quite careful of. And one of our uh, runners from the club, Paul Card, did injure his knee quite, quite badly, I think, um, on the second river crossing. Uh, I think he still came in uh, first for the club, um, but let's hope Paul is on uh, the road to recovery already. Uh, I think he gashed his knee quite badly, so let's hope you're on the road to recovery, Paul. I've got to be honest with you guys, I really, really struggled on this course. It's out of my comfort zone a little bit, which is kind of why I wanted to do it. Take myself out of my comfort zone and improve that sort of ability to sort of problem solve and get around things. Uh, but I really did struggle and I was really pleased to actually make it through the finish line at the end. Those early hills really did prove a little bit too much for my legs. So I've done a lot of miles the previous week and I'd sort of met my match really. And the bit I was kind of dreading, which was the uh, river crossings, actually turned into one of my favourite bits. It kind of refreshed me a little bit, wading through the water. Uh, the first one wasn't quite so deep, but the second river crossing, uh, certainly, even for somebody who's quite tall, I'm, I'm around about six foot three, it came up to uh, near, the, near the edge of my shorts at one point. So, yeah, it was certainly an experience. So I did manage to pick up the pace a little bit in the last couple of miles and get somewhere near my more typical pace for a, for a road race, although this race was entirely on trails. Aside from my performance, there were some fantastic club placements. Uh, I know Paul Card finished very, very high up the rankings, and another one of our female runners also picked up the best in age category award. So how did these guys hold up during the race? Not too bad. They were okay uh, during the grassy sections, gave me good traction, and certainly going up the elevated hills, no problems at all. I did find a few issues going through some of the very, very uh, soggy kind of areas and through the muddy sections. They did slip around a little bit, uh, but that was to be expected. There were some really tough sections there. Even if you were wearing a pair of you know, Wellington boots or something, you would have had major problems. Going through the water, they vented the water pretty quickly. So overall, really happy with these. Uh, I don't do trail runs very often. I think these are going to come in handy and do a good job when I call on them. So if you like a challenge, if you're into that trail style running, you like some uphill elevation, this is certainly a race for you. So do check out the Ford Abbey 10K in 2020. Okay, just a short video for you today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching through to the end. It would mean a lot to me if you'd consider subscribing. So please hit that button if you'd like. I'll be back with more content for you later in the week. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.